welcome to the Florence vlog. We got in last night at around seven o'clock. We took a red eye flight from Orlando to London and traveled for like a total of 21 hours or so from Orlando to London and then London to Florence. And we woke up today at like eight o'clock and we're not even jet lagged. So red eye flight, power through the day and then go to sleep at a decent hour and you'll be good. We also have the windows open if you can hear that. Also the light in this hallway was kind of like flickering and this is like a really good size mirror that we have in here. So <laughs> wanted to start off the vlog. Welcome to the beginning of the Italy vlogs. We're starting off in Florence. We're here for two full days and then we go to Lake Como. I'm gonna show a little room tour of our Airbnb and then we're gonna head out and get some coffee, breakfast, explore, and go try the famous panini place. And we have dinner reservations tonight. Tomorrow we have a wine tour in Tuscany. Just so excited to be here. So let's start off with a tour. Walk in through here. Then it's the long hallway and it has a lot of cute details. So our stuff's kind of everywhere, but has like brick and the ceilings. So here's the living room. Here's the kitchen. There's Christian dining table. And then it has two windows that overlook an alleyway. Um, I really loved this Airbnb because I feel like it had a lot of charm to it. And then, like I said, all of our stuff is everywhere because the room is a little small. So you walk in here, just basic little bed, and then bathroom. So that's a little Airbnb tour. I'm going to put on my sneakers and we're going to head out. Good job, babe. <laughs> But I just got ready for dinner for tonight. It's almost six o'clock, so I just did my makeup. My hair is really dirty. I think I'm gonna wash it tomorrow because we do a wine tour in Tuscany tomorrow. But today was so fun exploring Florence. It's exactly what I picture Italy to look like in my head. I love it. We explored, okay, I'm gonna butcher the names. Christian's like way too good at pronouncing a lot of these places, but we went to Pizzi Palace, which was stunning. Each room was, I just can't even believe that it was hand painted and hand done. I can't even imagine how long that 
took and painting the ceiling it was just so incredible every room that christian and i walked into we were like amazed and then um there was a little garden in the back and we went through there we tried the famous panini place and they actually had four different locations for the panini sandwiches i guess because the line was so long but we like were in a really long line and then they would section you off to each location so they're all like right next to each other on this one strip and or street and you would wait in the long line and there'd be a guy at the front and he'd be like okay go in this line and he'd direct you they're so quick to make it the paninis were so good and um but we tried that it was really good and it's just a really pretty area that we're in and our airbnb is in a really great spot too and i i love the airbnb that we're staying at so cute has a lot of charm to it like i believe i mentioned when i was doing the tour today we're going to a steakhouse tonight for dinner we got reservations tonight and we also have reservations tomorrow let me pull up the place i have a like a note where i put all of the stuff for our itinerary so we're going to trattoria del oste there's multiple locations but it's really yummy steakhouse here in florence christian and i are going to leave a little bit earlier because our reservation's at 8 30 and we're going to go to the wine wall and it's just like a little window in the wall and they give you wine through the wall wine wall um there's multiple of them i don't know exactly what this one's called buchetta del vino wine and it means wine windows so i'm really excited i'll obviously vlog and i'm i think when i edit this video i'm gonna try and put the names of each place that we're going that we went to or i'll list everything down below so if you're coming to florence or any of the other places that we're going to you can kind of know where we went what restaurants we went to um and things like that last night's dinner was actually just a spur we just kind of picked it when we got here because we got here at like eight o'clock it was right around the corner from our airbnb and it was really good piece pizza and ravioli so good but i just wanted to recap the day we're gonna change and head out and i'm excited to go to the wine wall and try some more yummy food okay here's a little outfit of the night tank is amazon and skirt is princess polly
We just got back from the wine tour in Tuscany and we went to dinner at Trattoria Zaza back in Florence. So this morning we kind of slept in. I think maybe the jet lag hit us a little bit because we slept in until about 10, 30, 11 and we forced ourselves to get up and go get some coffee and some food before we came back, got ready for the wine tour. We had to meet kind of like 15 minutes away at a certain location for the wine tour. So came back, I needed to wash my hair because I haven't washed my hair for a couple of days. So I wanted to wash my hair for the wine tour and just have it clean because we are traveling to Lake Como tomorrow morning our train leaves from the train station at around 11 o'clock so i don't want to worry about it in the morning my hair actually held up pretty well with the curling iron and hot tools that i bought i bought new hot tools from amazon they were like 15 dollars. i bought a new hair dryer flat iron and curling wand for the trip that were all dual voltage so i didn't have to worry about me bringing my hot tools from home and then breaking something happening so I can link all of the hot tools that I purchased for the trip. Everything's worked with a voltage converter and an adapter. So I'll highly recommend. Yeah, we went to Florence today. It was honestly such a quick bus ride. It was a small group wine tour in Tuscany. We went to two different wineries and tried all of these different Chianti wines. It's the Chianti region. So it was really nice to learn all about the different grapes and the different wines. And we went to one winery that was all organic wine and olive oil. And it was really cool to just hear about them and everything. It was just so cool. And the second location we went to, which was the one with the beautiful estate, it was the most stunning location ever it was gorgeous it had a little garden in the back had a great room for the wine tastings we tried three different types of wines and we had like a little bit of cheese bread olive oil their olive oil was so good just fresh tasting so i highly recommend i'll link the exact tour that i did down below there was multiple tours that i was kind of looking at and um i did it on the Viator site. I found one that was a really decent price and the bus to Tuscany was actually air conditioned and some of them weren't air conditioned, which you kind of had to keep a lookout for in the reviews, but I can link the exact one we did. Every The tour guide was great. The people that guided us through the wineries and spoke about the wines were all so knowledgeable and it was just fascinating to learn so much. So highly recommend if you're ever in Florence and you want to take a day trip, it was like a five hour wine tour. It, the bus ride was, it was 40 minutes, but it didn't even feel like 40 minutes. So highly recommend if you can squeeze in a little bit of a day trip. Then we came back, we went to Trattoria Zaza for dinner. Incredible gorgonzola gnocchi. If you, so I love the Trader Joe's gorgonzola gnocchi. And so when I got it, I wanted to kind of compare obviously there's absolutely zero comparison the gorgonzola gnocchi here just melts in your mouth it's incredible so got that got a filet it was just a really great dinner I highly recommend the two places that we went for dinner this trip i'm gonna link the itinerary down below i think i mentioned that earlier in this vlog that i'll link the places that we've gone just in case you want to add it to your upcoming florence trip or anything like that so tomorrow we are going to lake como which i'm so excited i've been dreaming about going to lake como for so long and i was thinking about it today and each place that we're going to on this trip is so different that I don't think that we could possibly pick one location that was our favorite. They're all just so different, but I have absolutely loved Florence. It is so charming and just incredible. So anyways, I'm going to get ready for bed. We have a travel day tomorrow. We're taking a train to Milan from Florence and then Milan to Lake Como. So, and we're meeting up with Christian's sister and her husband in Lake Como for the next couple of days. And then we're going to Abruzzo, Pescara area for the wedding, which is the main reason why we came here. And I'm not sure if when we go to Pescara, I'm gonna start a new vlog or not, 
but i hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog so far i've just been having the best time so anyways have a travel day tomorrow wanted to quickly recap the day I was rushing around this morning so I couldn't really vlog anything or talk to the camera. I was just trying to get ready so we didn't miss the bus to Tuscany for the wine tour. So anyways, I'm gonna get in the shower, get ready for the night, and I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, we just got to our Lake Como Airbnb after a hike from the boat stop in Tremezzo. And they did not broadcast that this Airbnb has no AC. So it's all a part of the process, all a part of the journey. It's fine, there's fans. I don't know how well we're gonna do here, but we have a gorgeous Airbnb overlooking Lake Como. It's behind that building. It's just so stunning. And it does have a little patio. Here's the living room. Stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's the next day. Wanted to quickly vlog before we left the place. We have lunch reservations at Hotel Tremezzo today, which I'm so excited about. I wasn't expecting us to actually get them because it was pretty booked up. So we have lunch reservations at, I'm blanking on the name of, also sorry if there's a lot of noise going on, we have the doors open because there's no AC in this place, and luckily it is only in the 70s, but I don't know how I missed that there was no AC here, so that's a little bit of a bummer. If you do come to Lake Como and you're not staying in a hotel and you want to do an Airbnb, just really be thorough with looking because a lot of the Airbnbs here do not have air conditioning. So, anyways. I'm really excited for lunch and then I think we're gonna go take the ferry to Bellagio for the day as well. We're staying in Tremezzo. It was hard to pick a spot in Lake Como 
I know the Como City is um, very touristy. There's a ton of hotels, but I kind of wanted to stay over here because we're across from Bellagio. There's the Hotel Tremeza, which I wanted to see. It's such a gorgeous hotel. I just feel like it was a good location. So we're gonna head to lunch. I'll obviously bring you guys along. I'm so excited. I think we might get coffee first. Our reservation's at 12, but I want to leave here at 11. It's like a 20 minute walk. So I think we're gonna leave here around 11 because I do want to kind of like look at the hotel, explore. Anyways, I'm gonna change and we're gonna head to get some coffee. I think there's a coffee shop right around here as well. So. Wow. Okay, we're walking to Hotel Tremezzo. It's like a 20 minute walk and the view is insane. We actually walked this way yesterday with all of our luggage. It was a hike from, sorry if it's noisy, it was a hike from, I guess, ferry drop off. So we had all of our luggage and sometimes there was no sidewalk. So we were like running with our luggage on a narrow part of the road. And it was just a hike with it. And these are very uneven. So it was just funny. We were sweating trying to get to our Airbnb because there's not a lot of taxis here. The hikes to each location are pretty pretty intense with luggage. It makes you not want to even carry anything but a backpack. So...
Christian and I stopped in Leno at this hotel right on the water. It has the most gorgeous view of Lake Como. And we're having a cafe shakerado, which is just an espresso shaken up with a little bit of sugar. And it's the best thing. This is our second one because it's so good. And there's the best view. We're just relaxing for a little bit in this little sitting area. Enjoying some afternoon coffee. quick outfit of the day it's eight o'clock in the morning here and we have a long travel day ahead we're going to we have a train to milan which is about 45 minutes and then we have a five hour train ride from milan to pescara okay so i'm wearing some linen pants from abercrombie and fitch they're a navy blue color and then skims tank top and then I'm just wearing some Veja sneakers and I did get the regular length on these pants if they still have them. And I'm 5'2". I was a little worried that they might be too long, but they're not that long. Mm -hmm. 